Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, yeah, another fascinating looking puzzle today. Another Sudoku. I think Simon didn't do a Sudoku earlier, so um, this will be the first one on the channel today. But we do almost every day do two Sudokus, uh, well, I think every day virtually, apart from this. Uh, two Sudoku puzzles at least and uh, loads more content on Patreon. You can always check out the Discord server attached to the channel. The links are on the description field where you can find our apps as well and our merchandise and Sven Sudoku pad and all kinds of stuff associated with the channel. So do check out the description field at some point one day. Now, what's going on with this puzzle? Right, let's have a look at this. We've got um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits do not repeat in cages which show their sums. So those nine digits add up to 45. Um, and they are all different. Two cells joined by X sum to 10, and two cells joined by V sum to 5. Not all X's and V's are given. This is by Pixel, who actually wrote, uh, it was quite clear Pixel is a Simon fan and was hoping Simon would do this video, and that's fair enough, but Simon can't do every puzzle we get sent, so some of them are by me, and I hope Pixel gets to see the video and doesn't disapprove of the solve. But we shall see about that. Now, I'm um, not sure that the title and the obviously the, the given digits say 315. Yesterday I had an absolute failure to identify two films. One of them was the film genuinely credited in the puzzle, which was 300 in which there is a line, this is Sparta, and there were three hundreds across the top of the grid. I didn't know about that film, and I thought maybe this is Sparta was referring to Spartacus, but even in that film, I managed to get the lead actor wrong and took the role away from Kirk Douglas and gave it to Charlton Heston, who was, of course, in Ben-Hur instead. So just nonsense. I did look up 315. There was a movie made in 1986 called 315 about gangsters in gangsters occupying a school and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Um, I wasn't going to claim I've ever heard of it. I don't think that's the genesis behind this puzzle. Anyway, so we've got the rules. We've got an idea of how to do it. Uh, is it worth sharing a secret with you? I'll do that once we start. Let's get cracking. So the secret I was going to share is that the cage totals didn't actually have to be provided for these cages because once they contain nine different digits, we could know they add up to 45. And that's because we sometimes tell you the secret, which is that one to nine always add up to 45. And so is the total of every row, every column, and every three by three box in a Sudoku. And in this puzzle, every nine cell cage. And we can tell from the 45 totals that they are nine cell cages. And we can tell from the nine cell cages that they total 45. And it's a very circular, marvellous thing. Now, there's a V on a few cells, and that adds up to five. So here, it can't be one four in that column. So that must be two or three. Well, it must be a two, three pair. This cell can't be two or three. So that must now be one or four. The same will then go for this to make the V work and this to make the next V work. Um, this V, again, this they'll either be selected from one four in all three cells or two three, but I don't know which one yet, I don't think. Okay, we're, here we have the most generosity ever of actually getting a given digit on an X, so we can, we can fill in a seven there immediately. Um, this X, now, it's not a 3-7 pair, clearly. It can't be a 1-9 pair, because there's a 1 in the cage already. So it must be an even pair, either 2-8 or 4-6. Ah, and now we can ask the very simple question of where does 1 go in this box? Given that it's not allowed to reappear in the cage, it's got to be there. And then, where does 3 go in the cage? It can't be in any of those cells, because these ones would be in the same box as another 3. So it's got to be here. And this is the law of leftovers. There are two leftovers from the cage in box one. And those two leftovers must appear in the cage outside the box. So we might be able to use that again. Well, what we can use again here is that this is even, because again, it can't be seven, three or one, nine. There are only four possible X pairs. Um, ah, and seven has to be somewhere in this box, of course. There has to be a seven in it. But it can't be in these pencil mark cells, and it can't be in those cells in column one because there's already a seven there. 
Now, that means there's a 7 in one of these three cells, and the reason that's interesting is because this cage still needs a 7, and it can't be anywhere in this box or in those two cells, so actually it's got to be here. And, yes, another way of looking at this, the law of leftovers as it applies to this cage and versus column 1, is that those cells must be the same four cells because they're the apart from these five, they're the ones that make up the cage. And therefore, apart from these five, they're also the ones that make up this column. So that has to be a group of the same cells. So now we know it's 7321, and we can fill in more digits. And we are firing now. This is either a 2, 8, or a 3, 7 pair. Um, these are from 4, 5, 6, 9. What does that do? I don't know. Still haven't found out what that V is. Ah, oh, look, the law of leftovers is very good because... Yeah, I mean, okay, I don't know what this digit is, but I know it's the same as that one and that one. Right, how do I know that? Because these eight digits are eight of the nine, one to nine digits. The other one, according to the cage, is here. But the other one, according to the box, is here. And as regards the cage in box three, this is the other one that doesn't fit in the box. So in the box, this is the other one that doesn't fit in the cage. They must all be the same digit. Down here, we get another equivalent cell. That must be the same as that. But they're not blue because column six has one of each. So I'm going to make them orange. Um, now, 3 appears in the leftovers out of this cage in box 2. So in that cage, it must be in one of these three cells, which... No, it's not that helpful, but now blue can't be 2 or 1 in that row, 8 in this row. It can't be 3 in the box. It can't be 5 because it's on an X. So it's a bit narrowed down. Not much, but a little. Um... Now, what else can I do? Now, these three have to include an eight. These three digits are the same as these three. So they include seven and eight <clears throat> and something else. How about after those four? Well, oh, we're going to need a three in one of those cells because three can't be in this in these cells in box five. So in this cage, it must be in those four. So it's not there. That just eliminates one of the four possibilities for filling those. Um, that could be one nine or even... Oh, am I missing some very neat leftover stuff? Probably am, because there's been quite a lot already. And it's very well done. Uh, let me just keep pondering that. Now I can't see what else I'm meant to do next. Right, let's have another another little thing. There's a 2 in one of those cells, so that can't be 2. So again we get one of the four possibilities eliminated. Ah, 3 and 3. 3 has to be in one of those two. Doesn't get much done. Hmm. Now, I'm sure I am just not being very sharp here. Uh, let's see what else we can do. These are low digits. They're from 1, 2, 3, and 4. I suppose that one can't be a 3 again because of this grouping, but uh, that's not necessarily wildly helpful. Ah, there's a 1 there and a 1 there. So one of these three is a 1. So, it can't be orange, because that orange version can't be a 1. So it's in one of those two cells. It certainly could be here. Then we'd have 1s in all of these positions. And there and there, obviously. Um, Yeah, it could be. Or it's there, in which case we know that orange is 9. Now, is that interesting? I can't quite see why. 
No, that hasn't actually led me to anything. So, ah, this cage needs a one. Oh, that's simple enough. And that's really helpful. Where's the one going in this cage? Can't be in box eight. Can't be in those cells. It's there. Gosh, yes, once you see these, they get very helpful. So that now this is a two, three pair, and we know which way round it goes. Now one can be placed in box nine. Orange becomes nine. Orange are going to get rid of the color. Yes, I am. Two and three have been sorted out here. Uh, this pair hasn't. Yes, it has actually. Two is there and there. Where's two in row nine? In one of those two cells. And in fact, we know which one. So this X has been fully done. Three in the box goes there. This is a six, seven pair. This and this are eight and four, and we know which way round they go. Like so, we know where the seven goes now. Brilliant, so we're away. Those two are gonna be the same. Um, what else can we do? I mean, it's suddenly, with this sort of puzzle, you get an absolute flurry once it goes, right, where's two in this cage? It can't be in either of those columns because of those two, so it must be here. Um, five, four, one. So in fact, there's a six, seven pair there. So this is an eight, nine pair to complete the cage, and we know which way around they go. The remaining cells in the column are a six, seven pair. This now can't be a nine. Old blue eyes can't be a nine. Um, hmm, purple could still be nine as far as I can see. Now this can't have a two or a three in it. So it's either four, six or one, nine. Don't think I know which, but now the, these must be these cells. Oh, that's really interesting. Right, that's really helpful for blue. So this digit is either six or seven. And because it's not in this cage in box two, it is in this cage in box five. So one of the digits six or seven is there and the other one is here. So this one can't be a six or seven. Suddenly we know that blue is four. And blue, Minhek, we're going to remove the colors. There we go. So four is on an X. That's a, sorry, a six. That fixes seven, six. Uh, this becomes seven. That becomes six. Now this is a one, nine pair. And we know which way round. This is a three, five pair. And we, yes, we do know which way round from the three below. Not bad scanning today. Normally I'm a hideous stormtrooper. This is six or eight by Sudoku. But it can't be six because it needs an X partner here and that can't be four. So we get that one. Then we're left with a six, nine pair in the row. One and seven can't be in those cells. So they're over here. Um, actually, that one is the one. This is a five, three pair we can fill in. Oh, now we're cooking. This is a four. Purple is either six or nine. I don't think I know which yet. Um, we've got four. Five or six there, five, six or nine here. Right, we've used almost all the X's. This one can't be four, six or seven, three. Oh, actually, look, there's a one there and a one there. So we need a one in one of these three cells, but we've got two ones pointing at it. So this is the classic case of four of a digit pointing into a box. You must know where that digit goes in the box. So nine there makes this a nine. Right, now we know what purple is, it is nine. And we can depurpleify those cells. We've got a five, six pair to go in down there. I really think we're getting close to a finish now. There can't be a lot left here. This is a four, eight pair uh, up column five. So we know the order and then five, seven. They're done. I mean, I think we've effectively used all the cages as much as we really can. This is now not four, six, so it's eight, two, Six there, we need a six in row three, that's a four, five and nine to finish the box. Three, five as a pair there. Uh, two, eight and seven, yes, we can fill them all in. There's got to be a five, seven down here now. 
five, seven, that fixes five, six. Then we've got four, three to put in, eight, six in that box, five, six here, and five, three at the top. And there we go. That was a reasonably quick solution to 315 XV killers by Pixel. Well, it's a very nice puzzle and quite instructive on the law of leftovers and the secret and generally the, the number of XV possibilities. So really, really nice, very neat little puzzle there. Thanks for watching as always. Um, I hope you have found this channel lately or rather I hope if you found it lately you're enjoying it. If you're one of our longer term visitors you are so welcome to keep coming again and again. We love it. Do remember to like the videos, subscribe to the channel etc and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.